What's going on guys? Welcome to VBTV. Today I wanted to make a really quick video on how to use Handbrake. Now Handbrake is a wonderful free tool. It basically takes video files and you can re-encode them and make them much, much smaller by 90% sometimes and still retain the quality if you do it right. So to get Handbrake, you're going to go to the Handbrake website, which is right here, handbrake.fr. You're going to download it and install. After you install Handbrake, you're going to open it up and this is what you'll see. Now I already just encoded a video just as an example to show you the size difference. Now if you look, this is League of Legends the uh, 619 here, right? So I'm going to show you what the original file looked like. Oops. Fifty seven gigabytes. Alright, that's a huge file for 20 minutes. Now we're going to go here it's two gigabytes, the same file and no quality loss. That's incredible. That saves so much space and it's very easy to do. Now I'm going to show you. So if you start fresh, you're going to click source and you're going to find your video and you're going to double click it. It's going to scan it and everything's good. Now this is the destination where you want to save your, your, uh, your video. So you always want to have that say MP4. The container, always MP4. You want to click Web Optimize. Don't worry about that. Picture, don't need to worry about that. Filters, make sure this is off, 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 and off. Now video, I always have same as source and variable frame rate. And under constant quality, it defaults to 20. The higher the number this way, the, the smaller the file size, but the less quality. The farther this way, the bigger file size and much better quality. Now you don't anything past this point doesn't make any difference, and that's gigantic. I personally use 18, but the default is fine 20. I just feel that because YouTube destroys videos when they re-encode them, that I just need to give it a little extra. But I'm I'm weird like that. So let's use 20. Now right here, you're gonna make sure this says auto auto that's at medium and you want to make sure you click right here it says use advanced tab that's it for this section now we're gonna move on to audio now this is really important let's say you use DX or another program and you have two audio tracks and you want to uh, encode both those tracks together well right here only one came up but we have two if you click this so you're gonna go here and click add track you're gonna highlight down and pick the second track and now you have both. Now both these tracks will be encoded with it. I always change to 320. Some people say it's there's no point in going over 192, 256. I just use 320. Subtitles, don't have to worry about that. Chapters, you could just leave that alone. Now advanced. This is another important one. Under reference frames, you want to make sure you click 4. And here's and that's it on this section that there's nothing else you have to change everything default here is fine now let's say for example you have um, an i5 with four cores but you only want to use three because you don't want to max out your computer while using handbrake well you can change your number of threads to use by hitting colon threads equal three now if you have an i7 you could put threads equal six seven or however many number you want to use and then what we're going to do is then you click start and see it's going. It's going to go really slow because I'm recording right now, but that's just an example. So 30 minutes left. It would go a lot faster if I wasn't actually recording. So there you have it, guys. And then once that finishes, then you have your MP4 that's uh, nine, less than 90 percent. I mean, more than 90 percent reduced in size. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.